this is the beginning of Rhodes Mount Avenue. This was really my stomping ground. Uh -huh. How are you, Larry? How are you? You well? Good to see you. When I was nine, I took a real interest in drums and drummers. My mother was unconventional, mm -hmm. and she was a very talented musician. Whereas my dad's reaction was, I'd much prefer that you would learn how to be an electrician or go into the civil service or whatever it was. He said, okay, but if this is what you want to do, you need to learn. I just completely went against it. I mean, people tried to teach me how to play. And I think I decided that I don't want to play like everybody else. I want to try and do it myself. My father said, you really need to be in a band. Why don't you start your own band? I said, well, how would I do that? He said, put a notice up on a notice board. So I did, the next day. It was something along the lines of musicians wanted to form a band. Contact Larry Mullum. I'd asked my parents if I could have the, the kitchen because there was nowhere else to go in that. Yeah. So we moved the table and chairs. A friend of mine in school had an amp. I borrowed it from him um, for the rehearsal. So I had a, a kit of drums that was made by a toy manufacturer. And then Adam arrived, Edge and his brother arrived, and then Bono arrived. And uh, so we piled into the kitchen and you know, the guitarist came out, everything was out of tune, and um, basically just started to play. We didn't have much going for us. We were all kind of equally talentless. We, we worked on learning from each other's mistakes and ending up being influenced by each other's, you know, sort of handicaps. Mm -hmm. I never learnt a lot of the basics necessary to be proficient. I've had to rely on finding ways of doing things that are unconventional. If you take a song like Sunday Good Sunday, for instance, as a professional player, you would never have done that. You wouldn't be able to do it. You can only do that when you don't know what you're doing. And it's the stuff that I don't know in some ways that makes me different. I don't know that makes me great. It makes me different. I've had to compensate. And through that compensation, developed a style that is unique to me. I'm incredibly proud of that. Four kids with little future ahead of us. And we made arrangements with each other that we would form a band and we would work together mm -hmm. as a team and as a unit that we'd all take responsibility and that we would take care of each other. And we managed to do that. We are better as a group mm -hmm. than we are individually. Mm -hmm. I'm a proud user of Yamaha. I'm very grateful to them for that long relationship and never, ever asking for anything in return. It is really important to acknowledge that after 40 years of being in a band and after 35 years of a very good relationship, you just take your hat off, bow, and just be grateful and thankful. Alchemy is about achieving gold. It's making a lot of very little. This is not a normal life. It's never been normal. I feel my future is in serenity. <laughs>